Okay, in this video we're going to be converting from polar form of a complex number to standard form. So this might be pretty intuitive to a lot of people, but it's actually quite easy, much easier than going from standard form to polar form. But it seems to trip a lot of people up, I find, and I'm here to show you that it's not that bad. So you're actually given all the information that you need already. You just need to evaluate your cosine and sine. That's literally all you have to do. So cosine of negative pi over 4. Let's put this. If we look at an argon diagram, we've got our real axes. We've got our imaginary axes. And we know that that angle is going to be right down over here. It's got a length of root 2 over 2 and this angle right here negative pi over 4 okay we know that that is a special triangle so this is our hypotenuse these are the same right this is pi over 4 right angle this should be clear that these are the same length so just drawing just the special triangle we know that's root two that's one that's one and clearly from the argon diagram we have divided or we have scaled this by a half so let's just divide these by half so that's going to be root two over two this will be a half this will be a half okay so now we've got z is equal to root two over two and we can evaluate this now cosine of this triangle, we know that that is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, okay, which is half divided by root 2 over 2. So that's half divided by root 2 over 2. Notice that this is positive because we are in the um, positive, direct, positive direction of the real axes or the, the x, right? plus okay j times now sine since this is going down in the imaginary units we know that it's going to evaluate to a negative so let me change this positive to a negative now negative and sine is just going to be opposite over hypotenuse right that's going to be half over root 2 over 2 all right Let's continue writing this out. Root 2 over 2. Well, the, the halves are just going to cancel out. So this is going to be 1 over root 2 minus j. And this is going to be the same thing. 1 over root 2. Final answer. Let's just distribute the, uh, ra the, uh, the radius or the modulus of z into the brackets. And the root 2s will cancel out. So we get half minus and then again the root twos will cancel out half j and that is it right as you do more practice you could probably speed this process up a little bit but this is all it is just using our special triangles okay let's do one more example with this so let's convert 10 times cosine of 7 pi over 6 plus j times 7 pi over 6. I always like to visualize things because I think it makes understanding a lot easier. So we'll draw our real axes, our imaginary axes. And 7 pi over 6, that's going to look like this, more or less. It's pi over 6 past pi. It's like pi plus pi over 6. Okay, great. And we know that the modulus of W is 10. Okay, let's draw a special triangle that is uh, seen with pi over 6. If you were to draw this, you know that this is root 3, this is 1, this is 2. This angle is pi over 6. This is a right angle. This is pi over 3. 
great. Okay, and we know that this is scaled so that the uh, magnitude of the hypotenuse is 10, so it's scaled by a factor of 5. Cool. So scaling this really isn't going to affect the ratio of the um, adjacent to hypotenuse or the ratio of the opposite to hypotenuse. As we saw in this example, remember how we scaled this by a half? Our halves ended up just canceling out because the ratio is going to be the same. So you actually don't even need to um, care that much about the 10. The 10 can just be distributed in afterwards. The ratio will be the same. So as long as your argument does not change, which it won't, then we can just go straight from the special triangle plugging it in. Don't need to match the, ma match the modulus to the modulus in the question. So we've get, we get W equals 10 times, well, cosine of this special triangle is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's root 3 over 2. And remember, this is going to be negative root 3 over 2 because we are in the negative direction of the real axes. We are also going to be negative in this quadrant because we're going down, right? You could also just get this from cast rule. Okay, so negative, and this is opposite over hypotenuse, which is half j. And now we'll just uh, distribute the 10 in. So that's going to be minus 5 root 3 minus 5j. And this is the final answer for w in standard form. That's it.